Pain in through the facial region is a very common presentation when it comes time for headaches and migraines. But due to hay fever season here in Melbourne, it's become ever more prevalent. We're seeing more and more patients coming in with facial pain and they're getting more and more confused as to whether it's actually coming from their sinuses or whether it's coming from their headaches and their migraines. So today we're talking about whether your facial pain might be coming from your sinuses or whether it's your headache or migraine presentation. So hi, I'm Dr. Beth, uh, osteopath here at Melbourne Headache Solutions. And as always, if you've got any questions or queries about anything to do with headaches or migraines drop a comment below and I'll get back to you. So your sinuses they're really important because they help to lighten your skull because it's very heavy um, they also help to improve your voice quality and also they help to produce a mucus layer to protect your nose. So um, with the mucus, then when we get something like sinusitis, um, then essentially too much mucus can be produced and you can get things like congestion, a runny nose, you can get a post nasal drip so you can feel like the mucus is running down the back of your throat. You can get things like um, a decreased sense of smell. You can get bad breath or feel like you've got a toothache. And like what I was talking about before, you can get pain in through your face. So most commonly people feel it in through their sinuses, so in around their cheekbone area or in through their forehead region around here, particularly around the eyebrows, because that's where your sinuses lie. You've got your frontal sinuses, which are here, and then also you've got your maxillary sinuses, which are here. And if you do have a problem with your sinuses, very commonly when you touch these areas, then they're very sore and sometimes you can feel that one side is more sore than the other or you can feel um, that one type of sinus, so say your maxillary sinuses or your frontal sinuses are more sore than the other type of the sinuses as well. Sometimes when you're looking at someone when they've got something like sinusitis you can see that they're actually a bit puffy over the area as well. So. Um, that's how you can sort of tell whether you might have something like sinusitis, which some people have chronically, so it's always ongoing, or like when you've got a cold, then your sinuses can puff up. And at the moment, as I said, with people in Melbourne, then we've got hay fever going on. So the sinuses are going crazy. And a lot of people seem to be experiencing more extreme versions of their hay fever than they were previously. Um, and so, yeah, they're getting things like, you know, itchy noses or ear sensations, their ears are going blocked in and out as well. So that's how you can more tell if you've got a sinus problem um, and feeling that pain in through the face and you can get a heaviness in through the face as well. But you're more likely to get those tender points in through your face when you actually touch it. But a lot of people then they get pain in through their face, but they don't have things like that blocked nose or a runny nose, or like, um, as I said, uh, you don't necessarily need to have a blocked nose when you've got sinus, uh, sorry, a runny nose when you've got sinusitis. Um, it can just be a blocked nose. Um, but they, uh, other people, then they just get pain in through their face and it's around here and it's an achy pain. Sometimes it's a consistent pain. Sometimes it comes and goes, and that, but they don't have any of these congestion symptoms. They don't have any itchiness or as I said, a post nasal drip or anything like that. It's just pain around here. Sometimes it's in the eye, sometimes it's in the forehead as well. And they get really confused as to whether it's their sinuses or not because it feels like it's their sinuses. But they might have had scans, like a CT scan, and their sinuses come back all clear. Or they've spoken to an ENT, so an ear, nose and a throat doctor, and their sinuses are all fine. Or they've tried lots of sprays and medications and stuff like that for their sinuses, but it makes no difference. And that's because for these people, it's not actually coming from their sinuses. There's a joint in the neck in particular, so the C23 joint, that refers in through the cheek, it goes up to the eye, across the forehead, and it goes up and over the top of the head in like a ram's horn distribution, it comes down through the back of the skull and down into the neck. So for these people, they don't have to get pain all the way across this ram's horn distribution. You can get it across any part of the ram's horn. So for some people, they get it just in the forehead, some people they get it in through the face, some people they get it up and over the top of the head, and some people they get it in the base of the skull only, and for some people they get it across the whole ram's horn. So for the people that are just getting facial pain, just getting it in the cheek, but they don't have any of those, as I said, blocked nose, runny nose, itchiness, ear symptoms, bad breath, 
any of those sorts of things, then it can be coming from this joint in your neck, as I said, C23 back here. And so, um, and so, as I said, trying things that are going to fix your sinuses really won't help. And so, as I said, a really good test to see whether it's coming from your sinuses or not is to palpate. So to touch in through your cheek region, in through here and in through your forehead up here. And if it's exquisitely tender, so when you're experiencing the pain, so your face is hurting, okay, and then you go and you touch these regions, does it feel puffy? Does it hurt? Is it exquisitely tender to touch? Okay. And if it is, then it is more likely. Now I say more likely because it's not a guarantee, but it is more likely that it is coming from your sinuses because your sinus was, will be upset. Okay. And you are more likely to feel it and be sore and be puffy and swollen in through here. If, however, you can't feel any pain or puffiness or swelling or tenderness, all of that through there, then it is probably more likely coming from your neck if you don't have any of those associated symptoms. Like, as I said, stuffy nose, blocked nose, running nose, itchiness, and those sorts of things. So those like congestion symptoms that usually come with your, um, like with your uh, sinusitis sort of things, okay? So if you do feel like you have something to do with your sinuses, you think that it's coming from your sinuses, what can you do about it? Well, what, um, a lot of the time then it's a congestion of mucus that is built up in your sinuses and you've got to try to get the mucus out of your sinuses, okay? And so um, saline solutions can really help flush out your sinuses and get them, um, get them moving better. Um, get them feeling better and also get the mucus working the way that it's supposed to again. So some people just do like a saline wash once and hope that it makes it feel better, but you've actually got to do it on a more regular basis if, you're, um, if your sinuses are very irritated. Something else that you can do, which is very, it, uh, which is very nice and is also very good for your sinuses, is to massage your sinuses. So along your maxillary sinuses, you go from your nose and you come underneath your cheekbones and you press through here and you keep going until you feel like they have settled, okay? And so if you're feeling swollen in through here, you will feel that it will start to settle or that the pain will decrease. With your frontal sinuses, you start from the bridge of your nose and you come up across your eyebrows and you do the same thing. You can do this on a regular basis. So you can do this once or twice a day to help settle your sinuses down. And one, this feels nice. So it, it's a bit tender, but it's kind of that nice tender, but also it will help encourage the mucus from your sinuses to get moving again. If however, that facial pain is coming from your neck, okay, then there's many things that you can do, but the most important thing is to get it treated by someone who has advanced training in the field of headaches and migraines, like us here at Melbourne Headache Solutions. So other things will contribute to your headaches and migraines. Um, uh, so things like, you know, stress and diet and anxiety um, and your exercise level and those sorts of things as well, because they will all contribute to your sensitivity level as to whether you are more likely to set off a headache and migraine. So we look at all those things as well to make sure that you're trying to get the fastest results possible. So doing things to make sure that you've got good neck health when you're exercising, make sure that your head's not poking out when you're sleeping, make sure that you're in a good sleeping position and you've got a good pillow. Um, when you're sitting, making sure that you're not in bad posture like this, making sure that you're in good posture, making sure that you've got good ergonomics and those sorts of things. And they will help to decrease your pain and also stop it from increasing and prevent it from coming back again and again and again and again. So as I say, there's two different ways that you can get facial pain um, and they need to be treated differently. But those are my tips um, in terms of which pathway it might be going down. And if you've tried to treat your sinuses again and again and again and again due to facial pain, but nothing's been happening, it might be that it's not actually um, sinus pain at all. It might be coming from somewhere else like your neck. 
So if you've got any questions or queries in regards to headaches or migraines or sinuses or facial pain, please let me know. Drop a comment below, send us a personal message, so a PM, um, or give us a call here at Melbourne Headache Solutions. We love treating headaches and migraines and would love to help you or anybody else that you know that has headaches and migraines because it's our absolute passion because we know that no one has, it should have to suffer with headaches and migraines. I hope you have a fabulous day and I hope you found this helpful and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks, guys.